Hi everyone and welcome to the ECG Science Series. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the Emergency Medicine Consultants in United Kingdom and today we're going to be discussing our first sign in the ECG which is the knuckle sign. Before we make a start, I'd like to announce here about this course from Zero to Hero in Acute Coronary Syndrome ECG. So this is a new course that is available online now that includes 14 different modules, over 10 hours of ECG videos with regular assessment after each uh, video that covers almost all what I know about Acute Coronary Syndrome ECGs. I think it's full of fun and I think it's going to be really useful. There will be a link to the course in the show notes of this video, so please check it out and see what you think and I'll be really keen to hear your feedback about it. The second and last announcement is going to be our normal EPIC course. That will be a virtual one, one day course and the next one is going to be on the 2nd of December. So to book a place that will be via Eventbrite and the link is going to be in the show notes as well. And this is, I guess, more than enough announcing. So let's move on and talk about our sign today, which is the knuckle sign. This is basically one of the signs of acute pericarditis in the ECG. And what it describes is it describes the PR elevation that is seen in AVR lead in acute pericarditis. But if you focus on the way that the PR is elevated, um, you will notice that it looks like a bent index finger. So if we focus on this part, we, we know from previous talks that our baseline is the TP segment, so that's your baseline. So if you look at this complex in AVR, you'll notice that there is a PR elevation and SC depression, but the way that the PR is elevated, it looks like a bent index finger. So that's why they called it the knuckle sign. So let's go through some examples and here is the first one. So that's the ECG of a patient who presented with acute pericarditis that was actually confirmed by a negative um, cath lab results. And if we uh, look at this ECG, we'll notice a diffuse ST elevation and a diffuse PR depression. But with a focus on AVR, we will notice that we've got a PR elevation here with ST depression and the PR elevation, it looks like a bent knuckle of an index finger so that's the knuckle sign again another example of acute pericarditis ECG uh, with diffuse ST elevation and PR depression and with a focus on AVR again we've got the knuckle sign here a third example of diffuse ST elevation and again if we focus on AVR we will see a clear knuckle sign here and that's another one. So diffuse ST elevation, PR depression, and with a focus on AVR, we've got the knuckle sign. So this is basically what we need to know about the knuckle sign. So when you see an ECG for a patient and you think it might be pericarditis, have a look at AVR and check if you can see what looks like a bent index finger there or not. And that will be your knuckle sign. And I guess this is enough for this video. Thanks a lot for your time and attention. And I uh, will try my best to talk to you again very soon. Stay safe and bye for now.